Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for joining me today. Today's video is a request of viewer Fallout Vault. Uh, he or she wanted me to do a video on my storage, on my pen storage. So I have quite a few pins, and so this is a video I have planned on doing a while ago, but uh, thank you Fallout Vault for suggesting this. Uh, it helps me um, come up with video ideas when you guys suggest things so I'm happy to do this I'm gonna start off I have uh, as I've said I have quite a few pens so I um, have a lot of storage solutions too because I really need to be organized and I have to have things very neat and orderly otherwise um, it gets distracting and a little it makes me a little anxious so uh, despite the number of pens that I have, I try to keep everything very organized and neat. So I'm going to start off with this, just this cheap pen pouch that I, I think it came from Dollar General or uh, maybe uh, the Dollar Tree or something. But it's just a, a basic pouch that you, I think it was designed to go into a notebook, a three ring binder. So I use this just for um, storage of my uh, tissues to wipe off nibs. But these are all the pens that either need to be uh, de-inked and cleaned or they need some kind of tweaking. So as you can see here, I have quite a few pens that need to be cleaned or um, maybe their nibs need to be tweaked. So this is kind of a holding uh, pen for, for those pens. Next up, I also have, like most people, just some cups. And I use my recycling bin just for, um, I have some uh, gel pen refills. I keep my Lamy Joys here because uh, it's kind of hard to fit them in a, a regular case. And some uh, erasers and uh, some lid. And uh, There are a few fountain pens in here. I have an Asveen in here, a Dryden in here. Um, and then I have my Visconti inkwell. So um, just random stuff I keep in this little recycling bin and then I have another couple of pens um, that I keep as well um, so these zippered folders here are some of the first um, that I purchased and these are just zipper folders that you can get on eBay uh, nothing really special they, they hold about 48 um, pens and in this one I just have I have some uh, Jin Hao's and some Hong Dian's. Um, nothing really special in here. Just mostly uh, Jin Hao's and Hong Dian's I keep in here. And I keep, uh, I have two of these and I keep these out of sight. Um, so they're within arm's reach, but they're, they're out of sight. And these are um, pretty inexpensive. Uh, 48, good 48 slots for uh, $25. And they've held up. I've had these for a year. Um, got them in the, at the beginning of my journey. So uh, they've held up uh, very well. And I also have this zippered folder that I also keep out of sight. It has some Winsung's and uh, uh, Azezo. My uh, Atout is in here. And a couple of Asveen, Kagaloos. Um, so uh, and my... Um, Estherbrook JR is in here. Um, this is a nice magnetic cap. It, it doesn't are always snap into place, but um, overall this is a nice, nice feeling canvas uh, case and it holds 12 pins. Um, I forget how much this cost, probably about $15 or so. It wasn't very expensive. Also from Amazon. And one of my favorite um, cases it's the Esterbrook Nook. This is a 12 pin uh, holder. Uh, it's, le it's a leather. It's leather. Uh, very, it feels very thin though. It doesn't feel like it's super quality leather. And this actually, I think, sold for $175 new. I luckily bought this, I think, for less than $100 at Pin Boutique. I think it was like $75 or something. They were um, getting rid of the their inventory. And I'm not sure if this blue one is still being sold. But um, 
it's I, I think it's it was very overpriced but I think it's you know it's beautiful um I love the blue and the and the red and this is a snap and these are where I keep all of my Kawakos so it's a very sexy case I would say and it has a little Esther Brooke logo throughout here very soft lined so I like to keep my Kawakos in here so I can't buy any more Kawakos. Um, yeah. We'll see if that happens. But that's the Esterbrook Nook. Very nice case. So the cases that I carry every day. I carry a lot of pens to work with me. Uh, because I'm at, pretty much at my desk all day writing and reading. So I like to take a break. Um, other than getting up and walking around, I like to take a mental break. So I'll really into writing to-do lists, notes to myself. So these I um, I've carried around for about a year, and these have held up pretty well. So in here I have uh, a lot of Leonardo's, a um, couple of um, Hardy pens, but most of my Leonardo's in here. Um, they're just here. They're not my curling ink. They're they're just here to, to look pretty for the, the video today. And this one is the same. Um, and this one actually, I had an azabine leak in here. And it was very easy to clean up. So I don't think you can really even see where the blue ink leaked. I was able to clean this up. So that's pretty good that uh, one, it cleans up easily. So you can't really see any blue there and it didn't seep through so and this is really hard so my pens have held up very well in this case the only downside to these is that they do fray so this is a a year's worth of fraying um, from certain clips so i don't think it's going to break it anytime soon but um, they do fray so just be be careful and these are uh, these hold about uh, i can fit about squeeze about 12 pins in here I like to organize them by color and uh, like I put always put all my demonstrators first I'm a little anal I'll admit that and then I uh, gradually progress to all black so um I and these are I call I dream 365 and these are on Amazon about for uh, 14 dollars or so but uh, uh, this is this these have been I kind of take these for granted so I love these good for every day yes I do I do take too many pens to work but and I even have more in here I carry this but I don't really um, I just carry it um, I don't really uh, write with these pens every day but I do carry them with me um, so this is the Galen leather a5 folio and this is crazy horse blue I believe um, so I just have um, the uh, the evil eye and Frida with me you can actually put something a little bit bigger in here but I just carry Frida and my Visconti's a, a couple of um, Mont Blancs and some credit cards to pay for all this actually I, I, I don't like to put pins on credit cards but um, I just carry those around just to fill up the case um, so this case it, it's okay um, these cases sold for about 119 I'm not sure where, I think it I think I got this from Galen I don't remember exactly where I got this from for some reason um, it it's very hard for me to get a grip on it I wish it Hopefully it will soften up over time, but it feels very slick to me. Um, it does have this like worn in look to it, but it doesn't feel very worn in. It's a very nice case. You know, I, I trust it to keep my pen safe, but it's just very hard for me. It's not comfortable for me to, to hold on to. It kind of wants to slide out of my hands. I do have some conditioner, so I will, um, try that and see if that helps things so that's the Galen a5 folio it smells very nice very nice and leathery so another Galen 
holder that I use are these um, mahogany pin holders. Um, this is the Galen Woodworkers, I'm sorry, uh, Walden Workers Company, Istanbul. They're sold by Galen. So I have uh, three of these, and I like I like to put the pins that uh, that I want to keep within arm's reach in these. So I have some some uh, glass nib pins and some random pins in here. Um, these aren't there's no felt or anything. <laughs> My fingers getting stuck. There's no felt or anything at the bottom of this. But they are very smooth. They did a very good job of smoothing these. So you don't run the risk of um, scratching anything. It's very well crafted. And these are pretty inexpensive. These are only $36. But they're crafted very well. They have little nubs on the feet here to prevent them from sliding. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I don't want to flip it over too far. They have little nubs here silicone rubbery type of nubs to keep them from sliding but i love these they're such a good bargain for 30 some dollars and just beautiful and well crafted so again these are from galen leather as i've stated before i've collected cross pins since i was a youngin um since i was about 13 years old and so this is what i keep my cross pins in and this is just a a box from Michaels I think it's like a craft box a jewelry box or something there were slots originally in here and so I just keep my cross pins and I just made this from uh, this is actually a glue line felt it has glue glue backing to it so uh, so it sticks and this is a piece of cardboard and what I have here are actually skewers like from that you grill with skewer sticks and so that's what I'm using to keep these separated so that's kind of a rudimentary um, storage solution that I have for my cross pins so it holds quite a few and there's also a drawer here that I have uh, some more cross pins and I have two of these with um, I don't know how many years worth of cross pins that I've, I've collected. So that's um, Michael's. I don't remember how much it cost. It wasn't, it wasn't very much. And the blue felt material I just got off of Amazon. And I don't remember how much that cost. But none of this was very expensive. And the skewers I just had laying around. So one of my favorite finds have been these. They're Lifomens. I'll put the name of the company on the uh, screen. So these are very pretty. These are from Amazon, and they claim this is ebony wood. It doesn't really look like wood or feel like wood up close. Um, it looks like some kind of composite material, but, I mean, it's still very beautiful and very economical for what it is. Uh, these are about $66 to uh, $75 on Amazon. And uh, so you have uh, about what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 20 pins. So I have most of my crosses in here. And some more crosses and some more watermen. I have three of these and I kind of arrange things by uh, country of origin. So I have my uh, Cross and Waterman American. I guess they actually now are China and France. But I really um, have loved this case. Um, I stack, I have, like I said, I have three of them and I stack them on top of each other. And they've held up um, very well. I've had them less than a year. But um, they feel very heavy and very quality. So I think these are um, nice bang for the buck and just very nice to look at so that's the Lifelman's uh, 20 pin storage case and this is real glass very very heavy and for my vintage pins this was a recommendation from the pin man he has several good videos on pin storage 
and I can't put this all in frame, but I will put a picture of this. This is also from Amazon and it's described as the five drawer desk organizer. So this is about $50 there, as it says, five, five drawers. And I keep my vintage pens in here because it's a very rustic looking um, organizer. So I, I feel like the, the vintage Waterman's and my other vintage pens uh, look very nice in here. So these are the, the drawers. And the trays, as suggested by the pen man, are from Penn State Industries. They come very long, long sheets of, you get four trays, and so you just cut them to size. And the four trays are only $15, and I think I have like three, three trays left. So I have Waterman's on the first drawer. I think Waterman's are also in my second drawer. Some are more modern. And then I think I have some extra books and some walls. Yeah, extra books and walls and uh, some more Waterman. And a couple of Pelicans in that drawer. In my fourth drawer, I have some, some other random, some Parker 51s, Parker 45s. Some palettes, platinums, and some French um, pens. And this is a maybe Todd, maybe Todd Swan, I think it's called. Yeah. So, and my fifth drawer is empty. So, again, that's on Amazon, $50. I just love the way it's not really a super heavy. Like the, the Life of Men's was very heavy, feels very quality. Uh, this feels quite a bit um, thinner and and cheaper, but it just I just love the look of it. It's very nice. It has a very nice rustic look to it that goes well with the vintage pens. And last but not least, I have probably my favorite storage solution. Now, I bought this because I didn't want to pay... $15 shipping on Anderson pens. So if you, I think if you spend more than $75, you get free shipping. I was just buying some sacks and some cleaning supplies and stuff like that. So I figured, oh, I don't want to pay for, for shipping. I don't want to pay $15. So let me find something to bump up, <laughs> to bump up my cart. So I had to pay for shipping. So I ended up paying three hundred dollars. This is only a hundred, but I think I bought this Visconti Van Gogh to go into this. So yeah, how much sense does that make? The things that we do. I know I'm not the only one that does that. I just don't like to pay for shipping. So I <laughs> go shopping for for this. But I do love this case. I and I haven't seen this anywhere but. Um, Anderson pens. Um, I'm sure some other people have. I just haven't seen it anywhere. So I think I had like two Van Gogh pens when I, I got this. And then, of course, I got to fill it up because it's 12. I can't have all that empty. So I bought like two more cents. Um, but I just love this. It's the Van Gogh 120th anniversary. And I just love the way this looks. You can hang it on your wall. It comes with a key. You can lock it. You can open it. Um, and I'm a big Van Gogh fan. Um, so when I saw this on Anderson, I figured this was, what a better way not to pay for shipping than just spend $100 on this and buy another Van Gogh pen. So that is my, that's my storage solutions for now. I still have plenty of, of space um so again thank you fallout vault for recommending this video it's been fun to film and again i hope everyone's doing well and i will catch you later